Godot 4 is in alpha and already in the 10th release. This is a major milestone for the engine which is looking to do for game development what Blender did for 3D modeling. The most exciting thing is the Vulkan renderer. This allows for real-time lighting effects. Light maps are also now baked using the GPU which should speed up development significantly. Volumetric fog and decals are also coming to Godot 4 as well as a massive upgrade to visual shaders and occlusion culling. Another improvement for development quality of life is the support for multiple windows in a single app. Godot 4 is getting a new physics engine, Godot Physics. This will improve performance to games developed in Godot. There are a number of other great improvements, but these offer the most significant reason to start learning Godot right now. Let's take a look at who has some great Godot knowledge to share with the community this week. Ryan Grayson has made an awesome video demonstrating how to use the new Godot physics to create incredibly satisfying destructible environments in Godot 4. He makes use of the new simple cubes in a modular way to create walls and then shoots them with some spheres which destroys the walls in a really satisfying way. If this is what is possible in Godot 4, then sign me up now, because it's awesome. If you want to see other interesting animation scenes, then head over to Ryan's channel now and subscribe for more. If you are interested in a deep dive into the details of the new features of Godot 4 and why they were chosen and the goals and aims of the engine, then you should listen to the talk given by Mladen Boschnak. He says that recently, there's been a big shift in the world of game engines. They're being used more and more in film, VR, employee training in most industries, and now every other tech company is building their definitive version of the metaverse in a game engine. The free and open source Godot game engine is currently seen as a great option for 2D games, but lacks stability and performance in the 3D space to be a viable alternative to Unreal and Unity. Find out how the upcoming 4.0 version of Godot is set to change that by greatly speeding up 3D game development and enabling beautiful graphics with clever use of modern rendering features that bring it in line with the heavyweights of the industry. He goes through all the new optimizations and rendering features of Godot 4 straight from the editor and he compares them to Unreal and Unity to demonstrate how fun and fast creating 3D games in Godot has become. Firebelly Games is the channel of a professional software engineer and hobbyist game developer who loves making games in Godot using C Sharp. He wants to share that experience with you on his channel. In this video he shows you how to create a rectangular masking area so that you can cut off particles or other unwanted visuals in your game. Firebelly has many other Godot quick tips on his channel along with entertaining devlogs for his games. So head over there and check it out and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Volta has been posting Godot devlogs and tutorials on his channel and his latest one is all about tweens. Now tweens are often overlooked because of their confusing API but this is about to change. They are getting a massive improvement in the upcoming Godot version 4. So this is a handy tutorial to watch to prepare for the big release. Be sure to visit Volta's channel to check out all the other useful tutorials he has there waiting for you. Finally, we have the mysterious Darky Pro. We don't know much about him other than the fact that he has released some interesting Godot demos and tests and a tutorial or two. See if you can find out more by visiting his channel and dropping some hints in the comments. That's all for this week. As always, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.